Okay, how's everybody this week? Tired, I know. I know. All right, uh, before we start, uh, let's pray for God's help and strength. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for uh, this <clears throat> class, uh, for these uh, precious young souls that you have given uh, to our families, to our church. Oh Lord, uh, we ask that your Holy Spirit uh, work among us, move in our hearts so that we can uh, uh, know your truth better. Um, because, oh Lord, you are love and uh, you are the truth, the way, the life. Oh Lord, uh, open our eyes, open the eyes of uh, these kids so that they uh, can know you better, that it, they can know your amazing creation better and uh, so that they can have uh, firm faith to follow you throughout their life and uh, to give you all the glories. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Today we are going to have another pretty scientific lesson. Um, do you remember the very scientific lesson that we had a couple of weeks ago about about what e evolution, right? So, <clears throat> what's the point that we proved in that class? Yes. Yes, God created all the creatures, and uh, the creatures did not evolve from one lower uh, form of life to a higher level. So in summary, there was no evolution, right? Okay, now today we are going to focus on one particular creature of God. It's us, right? It's the human beings. Uh, the question today is, are we descendants of apes? Are we ki children of chimpanzees, monkeys, you know, uh, apes, right? So are we really descendants of apes? Okay, so that's the question for today. Um, do you really want to have these guys? As your great 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 grandfather or great 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 grandmother. All right. So I don't think any one of us likes to have uh, monkeys as our ancestors, right? But uh, still, we need to look at the scientific evidence to see why it's not the case. You know, um, liking it or not, it's something subjective, right? But we are going to look at something objective, scientific evidence to refute to refute uh, <clears throat> the hypothesis that uh, we descended from apes, right? Okay, here's a picture. Here's a picture of uh, so-called progression from monkey to man. Raise your hand if you have ever seen this one in a textbook, on a website, anywhere. You, you've seen it, you've seen it. Yes, uh, <clears throat> Yingjie has seen it. Uh, Jessica, Angie, have you seen, it, seen this? All right, so <clears throat> there are different variations of this uh, picture, but basically it's, you know, uh, it, it tells the story that, you know, in the beginning there was the monkey, and the monkey evolved into higher level of uh, apes, half apes, uh, ape man, and then to the modern man that we are today. All right. But we are going to check, you know, we are going to check out whether this picture is true or not. Okay. According to science, according to authoritative 
scientists, that picture is false. Okay, so here's a, a conclusion drawn by a evolutionary anthropologist, J.J. Hoblin. He published an article in uh, Nature. In Nature, who knows what Nature is? Have you heard of uh, the 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 science journal uh, Nature? This is the second highest ranked science journal in the world. If you can publish uh, an an article there, you will be among the top top scientists or researchers. You know, uh, it's a prestige for for anyone who who is in the uh, science field. I remember. And when I was a PhD student in New York, uh, I was in the humanities, of course. Um, one, science, one science PhD student, he published an article in, I forgot either it's nature or science. Science is the number one, nature is number two. And his wife was so proud. She told everybody. She told all the other moms and every everyone, that she knew that her husband just published an article in a <clears throat> prestigious uh, journal like this. Okay, so this is very, very important and uh, very scientific. I mean, <clears throat> everybody will respect uh, his conclusion. So this gentleman, this scientist says, <clears throat> um, he conducted a, a detailed study of the uh, ape man progression fresco that we just saw. Um, he said it's a fiction. That is, an, it, it's not true. Okay. Uh, he said specifically the once popular fresco showing a single file of marching hominids be becoming ever more of vertical, tall, and hairless, now appears to be a fiction. A fi uh, it's a fiction. That is, it's not accurate. It's not accurate. Okay, so it's published in uh, uh, Nature in the year 2000. Um, it's the uh, uh, bibliog bibliography. If you're interested in, you can check it out. All right. So uh, today, we are going to go through every link in this picture um, to uh, support uh, what this uh, anthropologist already found, that this picture is fake. Okay, we'll go through all the links. How many links are there between the monkey and the man in the picture that you see? How many links? Four, right? Four. So in the beginning, the first, uh, uh, the start point is a monkey. Uh, and nobody thinks that a monkey is a man. But then uh, they said, you know, the evolutionists, some evolutionists said there are four links between uh, monkey and man in, in history to show that, uh, uh, you know, man has evolved from the monkey. But we are going to prove that these four links are all fictions. Okay. I, I think, uh, you know, in your school, the teachers teach you w w the difference between fiction and fact, right? W what is fiction? Fiction is fiction. It's, it's, it's something not real, not true, right? Fact is something true, right? So we're going to prove that the four links between the monkey and the man are all fictions. First one, first one. Okay, if, if you look at the uh, name uh, above this guy, it's, it's a bit, bit vague, um, but, uh, but under the title, it has a long name, Rama Pythagoras. I cannot pronounce it correctly. So I, I'm going to just call it this guy. Okay, so this guy, this guy uh, in this picture is actually a misleading reconstruction. So 
nobody knows exactly how this uh, creature uh, looked like, you know, back in its day, because all we can find are what? Little pieces of bones or fossils, not even the whole skeleton. So scientists, based on these, you know, few pieces of stones, they use their scientific knowledge and reconstruct, reconstruct uh, the picture of what the uh, what this um, monkey or ape looked like. Okay, so here's the picture of of this guy, uh, of this ape, uh, made in in the year two thousand. If you look at the uh, you know lower corner of of this picture. And this creature is also called a silver something, you know, so it has two names. Um, scientists used to think that this was something between the monkey and man. Okay, so in the year 2003, a professor of human anthropology in English speaking countries said, 15 years ago, I would have told everybody that this guy, was the ancestor of humans, but now we know that it was just an ape, right? So even scientists nowadays uh, know better, okay, based on newly discovered evidence. Now we know that it was just an ape or a monkey, not a human being, not something between the ape and a human being, right? So the science community has already reached the conclusion that this is just an ape. Okay. So what is our conclusion regarding this guy? Inaccurate. Inaccurate. This guy is not a link between the man, between the monkey and the man. All right. Let's look at the next one. It, it also has a long name. Australop Pithecus. Again, I, I'll just call this this guy. Okay, <laughs> let's look at this guy. Uh, whether it is uh, really something between the monkey and the man. All right. So again, uh, look at the picture on the right. Look at the picture on the right. Uh, these are the few stones fossils that scientists found, right, uh, left behind by, by this creature, this ape. And the picture on the left is the reconstruction based uh, on, the, uh, on the stones on the right, right? And uh, the scientists gave this creature a cute name, Lucy, because they, th they think it is a female, right? And in a museum in London, uh, this is a picture from the year 2009, the construction shows the ape as upright standing, upright standing, just like a human being. And they also, uh, the model also has human hands and feet, human and feet. But actually, these are mistakes. These are mixed mistakes. There is no evidence to show that this guy or this gal, uh, Lucy, um, was could stand upright and or had human hands or feet. No evidence, because look at the look at the bones. Look at the bones. Do you see any hand bones? or feed bones? No, no. Fact was, what is the fact? No fossilized hand or foot bones were found. found. So, okay. Well, so this model should not have human hands on feet or feet. Uh, we have evidence to show that uh, it could not stand upright like a human being, 
because other skeletons of the same species as Lucy uh, later discovered, their hands were more like it. Long and curved, good for climbing trees, unlike the imagined Lucy's hands. Their toes were long and curved, and the big toe protruded outward like those of a chimpanzee. Their hands and feet were muscular and good for climbing trees. Right. It, it, this is uh, it, this is a summarized summary from a from a publication, American Journal of, of, of Physical Anthropology. And you can you can check it out if you want if you're interested. So there was no evidence to show that Lucy had human hands on feet. So probably Lucy had a, a feet like this, which is typical what monkey hands or, or ape hands, right? Right. So this model, this model uh, on the right on, on the left is not accurate. Okay, let's move on. Other models of Lucy in other museums, they all have human hands and feet. Are they accurate? No, no, but they, anyway, the, the, the museums made these uh, models anyway. You know, this is from St. Louis, uh, taken in 1995. I don't know if they have changed it or not, probably not. Probably not. Chicago, 2006, probably they, they still have this one there. Scientists have protested, have uh, raised this issue with the museums, okay? But no corrections was allowed. For example, Dr. David Mont Monten, a professor of human body and neurology at the University of Washington, uh, University of Washington, where is it? Do you know? St. Louis, right? Uh, which is located near the museum in St. Louis. Pointed out this error in 1989. But they refused to correct it. You know, they say, we cannot update the exhibition upon every new discovery. It's too much trouble. You know, we what do we want to leave the audience with is a general impression. What is the general impression they want to leave upon the visitors of the museum? What do you think? Evolution and Lucy had human hands and feet, which is not scientifically accurate, right? Another example, uh, even, even these evolutionists admitted it. Look at the last paragraph on the page. Professor Ben Schumann, an evolution expert at Professor Mountains University, admitted that the sculpture or the model feet were probably not accurate. But when asked whether the sculpture should be changed, she said, absolutely not. Why? Because this is not politically correct. Okay. Uh, you know, the modern museum, uh, especially the Museum of Natural Science, they, are, they have a mission. They have a mission to impress upon the visitors that, uh, you know, evolution happened. So they they put up these models uh, while, while covering the, uh, covering more uh, uh, scientifically accurate facts, right, or discoveries. Okay, so our conclusion is no, evolu no evidence to show that Lucy uh, stood up right and walked like we do, like a human being, right? Um, there are other evidences, you know, for example, it's pelvis structure shows it's its knees would be bent and its body bent over when walking. Its wrist had a special locking mechanism indicating that it normally walked on knuckles. When you walk on knuckles, you don't want your, your wrist to 
to be too flexible, right? You want it to be tight. Like, but, you know, when a, an ape walks on its hands, it wants its hands to be stick, stiff, right? Stiff, instead of wiggling. That's why they apes have a have a special locking mechanism in its wrist, which is found in Lucy's bones. And the inner ear balance organ of other species of uh, the same species as Lucy shows that they generally could not walk upright, run, or jump. Uh, because as human beings, we have a special um, organ in our ears so that when we jump or walk upright, when we because we when we walk upright, our center of weight is higher. So it means more we have our bodies shaken more. Okay. Uh, so we need something in, in our ears uh, to tell to help our brains to remain steady instead of going dizzy too easily. Right? But uh, Lucy didn't have it, didn't have it. So we have, uh, we have good evidence to show again that Lucy is not something between the ape and a uh, well, and human, human. She was just an ape, all right? The truth about Lucy, about this kind of monkey or ape, uh, ape. If you saw Lucy today, you would know it is a chimpanzee <sighs> because it's it's very very much like a chimpanzee, about a 100, 120 cm high. It has long arms, short legs like an ape. Brain volume is four hundred to five hundred cubic centimeters, the same as that of a chimpanzee. Right. So, conclusion drawn. Uh, this this gal or Lucy, this kind of creature, is not a link uh, between the monkey and a man. Uh, uh, yes, not 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 uh, every one of them. We have we have uh, we are going to go through one more for this class. Okay, and. Uh, uh, um, uh, we'll spend more time on, on, on the fourth one, Neanderthal, probably the most famous one. Okay. Uh, all right. Questions so far? Questions? Yeah, pretty easy to understand, right? Because we have we have a strong scientific evidence to support our conclusion. Right? Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Next one. This one, Homo erectus. Have you heard of this before? You think so? Homo means something, um, not man exactly, but something close to man, okay? So people, scientists, evolutionary scientists think that starting from this creature, uh, they are closer to humans. Right. Erectus, what does it mean? It means standing upright. You know, as the picture shows, this guy, people think that they stood, they could stand upright and walk like we do. Right. It's because it's they think it's closer to human beings. All right. So there are examples of this this kind of creature, Homo erectus, okay? But Homo erectus has uh, has very deep-rooted misconceptions associated with, with it, okay? So uh, it is, this kind of creature is thought to be the link between lower apes and modern humans. That is, they think, you know, uh, monkeys evolved into this kind of uh, species and then moved on 
to become human beings, modern men. But actually, this is not correct. In fact, they were just a group of human beings that disappeared in history. They were humans. They were humans. Look at a skeleton. It is a human skeleton. You know, uh, why? We have, we have reasons. We have scientific uh, evidence. First, they had a body like modern humans. Look at a skeleton. You can tell, right? The head, their head shape was similar to that of Neanderthal. Neanderthals. Next time we'll look at Neanderthals. Neanderthals were also human beings. Face proud, rigid, ridges, etc. But smaller than that of Neanderthals. Okay. Smaller in head. But it doesn't change the fact that they were human beings. And then they used tools and fire. Yeah. Who could use tools and fire? Monkeys, monkeys cannot. Apes cannot. Only human beings could, right? They buried dead people. They buried their dead. Do monkeys bury dead monkeys? No, they don't, right? They may even have had boats. They may they may even be boat builders. They because their bones have been found on Crete and other islands far from the mainland. Wow. So these were human beings. They were not like something between the monkey and the human beings, right? Look at the re reconstruction of one of them. You know, uh, scientists reconstruct, uh, you know, an image based on his skeleton. Uh, uh, so scientists also gave a name to this guy. They call this particular um, Homo erectus Tocana boy. Tocana boy. You can still, I think you can still find it in, in, in the Chicago Field Museum, right? This picture was taken in 2016. 2016. Okay. Uh, so this is one example. There are other examples of human erectus. Uh, Homo erectus, who were actually human beings. Okay, next uh, we're going to th go through a, a, a bunch of Chinese, uh, Chinese examples. That is uh, um, examples of samples of uh, Homo erectus from China. Bear with us, you know. Ning Jie Ai and I are more familiar with these ones. You may not, maybe not, but it's fine. Lantian Man, right? Lantian Man uh, is, is one of the most famous uh, so-called primitive ape man uh, found in China. But if you look at a re reconstruction, he looks like an ape, uh, less than a, uh, like an ape, than a man. It was a human being because they could what? They could make and use tools. And look at the picture on the on the uh, right right side. Um, they had what human teeth, human teeth. So this is an uh, another example. Yuan Mo man, Yuan Mo man, like Lantian man, was another Homo erectus found in China. So uh, the evolutionary scientists claim they were like ape man, creature between monkey and man, but actually they were real human beings. They could use tools as, as the sculpture shows, and they had human teeth, right? These teeth, just like the, 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 the teeth that you, you guys, you young guys lost, you know, um, uh, Joseph just lost a couple baby teeth, right? Okay, and Beijing, the famous, the very, very famous Homo erectus 
found in China is called the Beijing map, the Beijing map, okay? Uh, we are going to watch a video in Chinese. I, I, I cannot translate it into English, but uh, we'll go through it and, and, and I'll explain it uh, in, in Chinese, okay? Um, Shutao 但是根据实际的考古发现来看呢，现在直立猿人也能够摘掉猿人的标签了。这具体是怎么一回事呢？这里是目前被发现最为完整的直立人骨架之一。根据研究呢，这说到直立猿人，很多人没啥概念，但是
kitchen, you know, the kitchen in your house. How many tools or utensils do you usually have? A dozen or a hundred? Do you have even close to a hundred tools or utensils in your kitchen? No way, no way. So if in a place when you found thousands of tools, what does it mean? What's that place? No, 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 tool store. Wow. It's a business. You see what I mean? Because nobody in their own home would need hundreds or even thousands of tools, right? So the cave was a place of what? Tool making business. It was a factory. It was a factory. So what kind of creatures run a factory? Monkeys? People. People, yeah, the picking man was a human being, was a human being, you know. And uh, of course, uh, you know, several piles of processed stone chips. That is, you know, when they made, were making uh, stone tools, they chipped away uh, from, the, from the stone so that they can have, you know, these, uh, these uh, tools, decorations, Look, they have all kinds of uh, stuff they made. Uh, the picture on the left is the cave where the uh, the Peking man was was uh, discovered. The picture in the middle, upper column. Can you guys guess what they were? What they are? Decorations, right? Bunny head decorations. They have bunny heads. Interesting. Decorations, more decorations on the on this picture. Decorations, decorations, and they even made needles. I mean, these these guys made needles. They were human beings. And these these are sharp tools they made. This cave was a tool making factory by the Peking. Peking man. So with so the Peking man was not a an ape. They were a group of human beings, very smart, you know, uh, uh, intellectual enough to 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 make tools. Okay, and even made uh, <clears throat> made a factory out of it. I believe they made a lot of money out of it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so more evidence too. They made tools from various animal bones and horns. Uh, it was even, you know, this is one of the tools they made from uh, animal bone. They even kept a complete animal skeleton, which means they were hunters too, right? They hunt animals, brought them in, and uh, you know, cooked them, ate the flesh, and left behind the, the complete skeleton. Yes, yes, I, I believe so. An ash pit several meters deep. The soil next to the ash pit has been melted and fused by high high temperatures. It means they used fire. The Peking man used fire. Okay, ashes. Right? This is a uh, example of ashes found uh, in the cave, in the factory. All right, another example, pretty close to the to where uh, the Peking man's cave uh, is, Sanding Dongren, the mountain top caveman. Right, they were also a group of human beings. Right, because what? Several human skeletons that were identical to modern humans. Uh, there, there, there was there were bone and stone tools and other artifacts. Lots of animal bones, which means 
these guys were hunters, and traces of funeral rituals. Only human beings held funeral rituals for their fellow for their fellow men, right? Monkeys didn't do that. You know, these are uh, uh, examples of what uh, was found in the mountaintop caveman's cave. Okay, you know, you can see these decorations, tools, you know. Uh, so easy to reach the conclusion, what? Homo erectus was not a transitional species between the monkey and the man. They were what? Human beings. Who could... Who, who 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 did what? Make tools, run factories, right? Bury their their dead. Um, even maybe they built boats, travel overseas. Human beings. So this guy should be taken out. Should be taken out, right? There was no link. That is no. There was no evolution between the man. Uh, and the monkey. Man was created by God after his own image. Okay, next time we'll look at um, uh, Neanderthal, Neanderthal, which was also 100% uh, human, human being. Okay, we'll stop here today. All right, any questions? Any questions? I know it's there is a lot of information, a lot of Chinese, uh, scientific information, even a uh, <clears throat> video clip in Chinese. Yeah. Questions? No. All right. Amen. 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 Amen.